and always a reminder for myself and abdukul aji su da'ifu miskeen or zalim al jahad. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, inshaAllah, if we have any questions and answers for tonight, we, we knocked out the power last night, so Alhamdulillah. InshaAllah. <laughs> What did we talk about last night? Being being an orphan? Huh? Disha, what did we talk about last night? InshaAllah, from Surat al-Balaq huh? that the condition has to be within us and by means of that condition inshaAllah it attracts the outside and that if we keep ourselves in a condition of yateem and our spiritual path then alhamdulillah you should have a significant concern for yateem. So one is a spiritual to understand our own condition and do we feel that we're cut off and that we're practicing and, and nobody's understanding. And similar to the example through Surat al-Yusuf that coming now on the 12th month for Zulhaj and that's one of the, the secrets for tariqah that uh, to be taken by, by one whom will be guiding us and to be cut off from everything and to feel that we're cut off, that we don't fit in everywhere. And that's a condition which Allah is describing in Surat Al-Balad that the one whom freed the slave and the, the magnitude in which people don't understand oppression. So everyone's worried about external oppression, oh look that one's oppressed. The funniest is a bunch of white men in suits worrying about Muslim women being oppressed. Everyone's worried about the external oppression and the most dangerous and the most concerning to Allah is oppressing what Allah finds dear. And it's not the physicality but it's the soul and that nobody contemplating that. So when Allah is saying, free the slave, the condition must be so bad it's slavery. That there's a soul within us that Allah has wished for it to be empowered and wished for the soul to be controlling insan, humanity or the humans. But instead they came to earth, they were horribly kidnapped and held ransom by a body and an ego which the body, the ego they team up with the devil and that becomes the shariq. That becomes the partnership. There's no partnership with Allah there's no way to, to, to reach to Allah The la shariq is that you're making a partnership with your nafs and shaitan against what's dear to Allah which is the soul, which is the world of life and which is that which is eternal. And 99% of people don't think there's any oppression so they don't understand these verses of Qur'an, they don't understand even the conditions. So imagine then how to find submission, how to find Allah's rida and satisfaction if we don't even know the first step. So they don't think their actions are bad, they just say, oh I don't know, I'm not really doing anything bad. No you are doing everything bad because if you haven't freed the soul then it's being held uh, captive and that captivity is, is what Allah is describing that they verily they oppress themselves and when you've oppressed yourself you have to run. Jawka wa nastaghfirullah wa astaghfirukum rasul. Jawka means go to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and ask for Allah's forgiveness. 
for those whom oppress themselves and been oppressed. So the first step in oppression is to recognize what oppression and that's the soul. The soul is the only thing that Allah is, is caring for, why well, Allah to care about the physicality. We said before it's like a tomato, it's like a piece of fruit, it's just another creation that rots. But that which does not rot is that which is eternal and that's the soul. And Allah's concern is for the soul. So the one whom frees it, the one whom feeds it, the one whom nourishes it gains everything in life and that becomes the, the dichotomy or the reality of the binary code. The one whom is on YouTube thinking that he's jogging and eating organic broccolis and healing his whole body is but an illusion. And what Allah wound from us is, take care of yourself but feed your soul, free your soul and that's your true healing, that's your true blessing. Go out and feed other people is your shifa, go out and do good works that is your healing. Those are the elements that they, they empower and nourish the soul and those whom are of a heavenly reality they understood that my power first is to my soul. If my soul is empowered, my soul is good, my soul is connected, everything else in life will fall in place. Every guidance comes, every blessing comes, every shortness is corrected, every, every difficult every difficulty and crookedness will be straightened if the individual focuses on the soul. But we are surrounded in a complete immersion of dunya people that quickly you forget. It's a matter of minutes. You watch something and the person is saying, they eat this, he does like this, we do like this, everything, you're going to live longer. And the reality is there's no focus of the soul anymore and these teachings are to free the slave, to free the soul and empower that which Allah wants and that which Allah is concerned for, that which takes us through all of eternity. We pray that Allah give us an understanding and we contemplate the reality and the immensity of that. So anyone whom sick their focus should be on the soul, that's why zakat, that's why sadaqah because people don't understand what's the correlation because it's a purification. It's not only that when you become sick you quickly seek out medical and medicine and pills, those alhamdulillah those are one condition but the true reality is that the soul has to have a power. So the feeding of others, the, the giving of charity, the doing of good works and selfless actions, that brings ismahu dawas wa zikruhu shafas, that brings the power of Allah the lights and the blessings upon the soul. As a result Allah gives a permission for a shifa and healing upon the physicality inshaAllah. We pray that Allah give us more and more understanding of the depth of that reality and to, to contemplate how much shaitan is tricking the dunya into forgetting about that which is most important. And when people are not walking through the door, La ila anta subhanika inni kuntu min al-dhalimeen that they don't understand, well I'm not an oppressor, no you are the greatest oppressor because you have not freed the slave. It's not that you jog and eat broccoli and you, you go to organic grocery store but you have not freed the slave. And you don't know how much that slave is under oppression of the nafs and the bad character and bad desires. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha.